Thank you. Today we are discussing the oral question that seeks to clarify in a binding way appropriate measures to ensure that the EU will not import medicines or other pharmaceutical products from the occupied territories. This is in line with our policies across uh, all imports from Israel and exports. And it is now both for the products falling under this protocol. When we talk about the technical implementation of a protocol to a trade agreement, some context and background are important as it's undeniable that the political discussions have taken the overhand in this House when dealing with this dossier. When it comes to Israel or the Middle East peace process, we have to be careful not to be so divisive ourselves that we become part of the problem instead of the solution. Clearly, the EU has a responsibility to lead in protecting and promoting universal human rights worldwide. We believe trade agreements are an important lever and I think we should not shy away from firmly invoking conditionality clauses, especially those on human rights. However, to appropriately address the serious problem of the illegal settlements that the current government of Israel continues to build, this may not be the tool. We either have to use the conditionality on the association agreement level or find other ways. To start with this protocol means we're turning procedures upside down and that will have an adverse effect. If nothing else, the procedural journeys that this protocol has seen through the EU makes us all less credible. And that's not what we need. Instead, trade and human rights should align in the EU's external actions. The Alder Group hopes the answer to this oral question will provide clarity so that we can put the protocol to a vote. It is then up to members of this House to vote according to their conscience, as we always do, even on difficult and politicized issues. But with or without this protocol, I once again urge the Israeli government to stop the illegal settlements and to move closer to the EU and the international community. To get by day by day is not the same as a sustainable two-state solution which moves further away with every settlement built. Towards Israeli citizens and in a dramatically uncertain and changing neighborhood, that is irresponsible. Thank you, Mr.